All right, so friends, I wanna to talk to you about the dry erase marker and your whiteboard. So if you have a dry erase marker, whiteboard, go ahead and get one now. I'll wait, or you can pause the video while you go get it. But we're going to be working with our dry erase board and our marker. If you have one, go ahead and get it now, please. All right, let's begin. So this is my dry erase marker. I'm going to use it to write on my dry erase board. It can only go on the dry erase board. If you use it on other things, it might dry out and then you won't be able to use it. So the marker, you're going to take the lid off. I like to put it on the back, just like that, so it does. So I don't lose the lid. Let me show you again. I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna take my lid off and put it on the back of my marker, just like that. The marker, the lid is a little tricky to get off the marker. Sometimes you have to pull really hard. So practice pulling hard on that lid so it comes off. You might need a grown-up's help. Okay, and I put it right on the bottom of my marker so I don't lose the lid. All right, so I'm gonna hold my marker again like I hold my pencil and my crayon with my thumb and my index finger right next to each other and then my middle fingers underneath. My thumb and index finger give it a hug, okay? So you can start practicing writing on your board. Only on your board though, make sure we don't write on the table, we don't write on ourselves either because that would make a very big mess. So please be careful to only write on your board. You're going to practice writing your name. If you need help with the, your name, ask a grown up to show you how to write your name or maybe they can write it on a piece of paper for you before or they can show you on the dry erase board and then you can copy their words, okay? So I want you to practice writing your name. So don't practice writing my name, practice writing your name. So if your name is Janie, you're going to write Janie, okay? You're not going to write Miss Becker, you're going to write Janie. If your name is Ari, you're going to write your name Ari. You're not going to write Miss Becker, if your name is Nash, you're going to write Nash. You're not going to write my name. If your name is Mason, you're going to write Mason. You're not going to write my name. If your name is Harold, you're going to write Harold. Not my name, but you're going to write Harold. Or Elijah. or Eli, or Inessa. Ooh, I think I'm spelling it wrong. All right, so this is a good point too. I use an old sock as an eraser. So you can use whatever you have available, but I use an old sock as an eraser. You can use anything you have that might work, a t-shirt, but I use an old sock as an eraser. All right, let me try again, Anessa. One N. Sorry about that. Even teachers make mistakes and that's okay. Um, Matthew. Again, making mistakes. So I'm gonna use my eraser, my sock as an eraser. Be careful not to erase too much, just a little bit. Again, old socks, they're great for erasers. I'm doing it again. There we go, Matthew. <laughs> I have Ruby. So you're going to write your name. You're not going to write my name. Who am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Me? Oh, I have Mason. Hmm. Maybe you 
can help me out. Who am I missing? Marley. Sorry, Marley. <laughs> and Marley. There we go. That should be everybody. So copy your name. Don't write my name. Write your name. When I'm all done, I'm going to put the lid back on my marker. Snap it shut so I hear that snap again. Do you want to listen again? Let's see if you can hear it. Snap. All right. So when you're all done, erase your board. We want to erase it so our, our letters don't stay. If you see a mess like this, if it doesn't quite go away, maybe you can try using, your grown-up can help you. Window cleaner cleans it up for you. If you have it, not a big deal. Okay. So it's ready to go for the next time I want to use it. If you don't have a dry erase board, I heard these were really hard to find in the stores. You can order these off of line. I got this on Amazon. They're just um, sleeves that you can write on. And then I put a blank piece of paper inside and then you can write on these as well. So these might be an alternative if you can't find whiteboards, but they will be, whiteboards and white markers are a great tool to use in the classroom. All right, same again, I'm just gonna use my sock and erase it. All right, so we have our whiteboards, our sleeves if we have one, or our socks and our markers. So please let me know if you have any questions. Practice writing your name with your whiteboard. This is your turn now to write your name on your whiteboard. You don't need to turn this into me. This is just for your practice, making sure you take the lid off, snap it back on until you hear that snap. There you go. Make sure we put it on the back so we don't lose it. And if you have some kind of container to keep your supplies in, make sure they go back in the container. I have a box here. We're going to go in the box. For whatever you have to make sure you don't lose your supplies. All right. I can't wait to hear about how it goes. Thank you, friends.